What's up everyone? This is Angie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Pretty much as usual with all of my videos, I have just woken up so that's why I sound like this. But today I thought it would be fun to try a new DIY face mask that I've never used before. So this face mask only requires honey and coconut oil so it's super easy. I'm super excited to try it out. I've done a lot of DIY face masks in the past before and I've kind of learned what works and what doesn't work for me. I've tried some with cinnamon and realized that that literally burns my face off. It was very painful and also using oatmeal. I guess I should have known this already but it clogs my drains when I rinse it off. Kind of common sense. I had to learn the hard way. So I'm excited to try this one out to see how it works. So the first step is just to add two teaspoons of the coconut oil. So I'm going to do that. As usual, I don't really know if the consistency of the coconut oil matters for this, but mine is kind of like half melted, half not melted because of the temperature in my house right now. So we'll see how that works. And then second, you just do one and a half teaspoons of the honey. And obviously you just mix the two ingredients together. The recipe that I was looking at said that if it's not really like a thick consistency yet, you can put it in the fridge for five to 10 minutes, which is kind of a good go-to for all face masks. I've done some where it literally just like runs off of my skin the entire time, like ones with like banana and stuff in them, because I haven't really had time to thicken. So if you can see, this isn't looking like it's a lot of product. Uh, it's gonna maybe be, I guess, a really thin face mask, but I'm just gonna try to go ahead and put it on if maybe it is too liquidy, I can just kind of start over and do it again and this time put it in the fridge ahead of time because I don't really feel like I'm wasting my product if I do that. I'm just learning as I go. So yeah, it's a little drippy so maybe I should have put it in the fridge but I'm not really afraid to make a mess. That's kind of why I brought a towel. I've also never used this before so I'm just kind of trying it out even though I think it technically said use your hands but If I have an applicator, I don't know why I wouldn't just use it. And as usual, if you don't do face masks a lot, just make sure you always wash your face ahead of time. Okay, so now that it's on my face, I realized I was actually wrong and I still have a lot of product left. I don't know if I should like add more, but I don't want to do too much consistency on my face to kind of clog my pores because sometimes that happens with face masks. It's getting in my mouth. <laughs> it's getting in my mouth. It's dripping everywhere. So I have no idea how long I've been sitting here for. So I'm going to turn off the camera for a second, check the time, wait 10 minutes. I'll take it off and we'll come back. All right. So if you can't tell by all the <laughs> wetness on my shirt, I have washed the face mask off. At first, my skin was feeling kind of oily, but that wasn't super unexpected considering I have naturally oily skin. My skin does feel super smooth and super hydrated, which I think is from the coconut oil. So I'm excited that that one worked out pretty well. And so I have another project that I want to do before I put any moisturizer on my skin. This is kind of an under eye treatment. I'm again, kind of unsure of how to do it and use it, but we're going to experiment here and we're going to find out. So the first thing was just to have uh, one cup of chamomile tea at a lukewarm temperature. So I have my tea pre-made and ready right here. The next step is just to add one tablespoon of baking soda to it and kind of mix it together. So I'm going to do that. So I'm just kind of mixing the baking soda in. I don't know like how much I have to stir it. I can't really see any baking soda in there so I won't know really when it's dissolved. So I'm just going to stir it for a minute and then assume that it's good to go. So then once that step is done, the next thing that it said to do was just to take some cotton pants, which I have right here, and let them soak in there for a couple minutes. So again, I like read things and I have directions, but I'm still always kind of confused about how to do them because after this it said apply it to your under eye. So this is just an under eye treatment, that's all it's meant for. But it says to apply it to the under eye and then let it sit for 15 minutes. So I'm assuming we don't let the cotton pads themselves sit. I'm assuming the cotton pads are just what we use as the applicator for this one. So. Um, if you know the actual directions and I'm doing it wrong, comment down below and let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of see how this works. Alright, so my cotton pad is looking nice and soaked, I guess. So I'm going to just maybe wring it out a little bit and then place it under my eyes. And then do it to the other one. Now it just looks like I'm crying, but yeah, so it said to let it sit for 15 minutes, so I might not wait that long just because I'm kind of unsure about this one, and now there's like baking soda and chamomile tea running down my entire face, so I'm going to soak another cotton pad and then bring that one out, and then I'm just going to kind of hold them both under my eyes for a minute and see if that causes any irritation or kind of see just what that does. 
So I guess that's all that there is to this one. So I'm just going to kind of wait it out. After it says you can wash your face, so I might just rinse off my face. So then I'm not really like over washing my face since I did already wash it this morning. Maybe I should have done this first before the face mask, but again, we're just learning, we're just figuring it out, I don't really know what I'm doing, so trying is the only, and trying and failing is really the only way to learn, so we're going to figure things out. <laughs> so already, just after like a minute, my face is looking kind of red underneath, so maybe I wasn't supposed to hold them there, or maybe my tea is too hot, it said lukewarm, I thought that my tea was lukewarm, but maybe it's kind of warm still, so maybe that was too hot of a temperature, I don't know, I'm going to turn my camera off, kind of clean up my station, and in about 15 minutes when I see the final result and I kind of rinse off my face, I'll come back and let you guys know what I think of this second one. Alright, so as I said, I cleaned up my workstation while I was waiting the 15 minutes. The redness that I was talking about under my eye it did go away pretty quick. After I washed my face, I realized my under eye is actually looking like a lot brighter already. So I'm excited that that one worked out. I still don't 100% know how to do it exactly, but I could feel my under eye getting really tight while I was waiting the 15 minutes, which I think is a good sign. That means things were getting activated in my skin, changes were happening. So I'm gonna kind of keep doing that one regularly and see if it gets any better. But other than that, that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm gonna go start my day now, make some coffee, take a shower because I look like this. But don't forget to give this video a big ol' thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below if you liked any of these ideas or if you have any other of your kind of favorite DIY masks that you want me to try, and I'll film that for you as well.